name of the game And I want to play the game with you Life can be terribly tame If you don't play the game with two And I want to play the game with you Not now, Alf. <laughs> no, Alf. Not now. I've got my own problems. <laughs> we should have taped that. Right, now let's get on with the show. And, of course, this is where we always meet and are always very thrilled to meet the very, very gorgeous hostess, Miss Anthea Redford. <laughs> Yes, nice. yes. Uh, no, oh, it's a, oh, it's a beautiful. Like yes, it? you've got to do another. Two. She has yeah, done it again. Yeah, another yeah. twirl. Yes, you feel like another one. Yes. Oh, and yes. I like the sleeves. Do you the like sleeves. These? Oh, I like these too. Yeah. Well, what kind of sleeves are they? Well, uh, they're sort of medieval sleeves. Oh, yeah. that's right. So yeah. Henry the Eighth time and all that. Yes. The ladies always. You know what that's they used it? to? They used to keep the snuff in there. Well, <laughs> well he tries. <laughs> no, one sneeze and the whole dress comes off. <laughs> 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 You see, I made you laugh. I've been trying all day. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the eight who are going to generate. <laughs> all right, then. Over there, my love. Have a twirl, another twirl, if you like, and a little saunter. And bring me on the first two who are... Pauline and Peter Hoffman. I see. Oh, okay. Stay here. That's it. And it's uh, thank you, Mother. It's mother and uh, son, of course. And uh, is that Hoffman or Halfman or Halfman? Halfman. Yeah. So uh, you're from Leicester. Yes. You're a housewife. Oh, and your husband is German. Yes. Ah, Javol, Javol. Javol. Yeah, Javol. Yes, yeah, Wiener Schnitzel, Wiener Schnitzel. No, ich auch. Eh? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't have it with that. No. Uh, <laughs> Litra Milch, Litra Milch. <laughs> anyway, you're a part-time secretary and bookkeeper. Mm -hmm. You are secretary of the local midweek racing pigeon club. Yes. Is that right? Yes. But why midweek, dear? Don't the pigeons like to race in the... In... No, 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 they go on strike at they, the weekend. They won't, yeah. they won't no, race no, at the weekend, I see. The anyway, oh, and your husband keeps pigeons as well. Oh, yes. Is he here tonight? Yes. Oh, yes, he is? Yes, oh, yes. so he hasn't put a message on your leg? No, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you have lived in Germany for two years and you have a German daughter. Yes. Does this mean that... While you were over there, she was born she there, was born which makes German. her German. She met, yes, and I've got an Irish son-in-law as well, so we're a mixed-up family. Oh, it is, love, yeah. What's it like? <laughs> What's it like living with foreigners? Um, <laughs> over to you, Peter. You're also from Leicester. You're married, and you're, you're in the plumbing and central heating business. Well, I hope you have a good season for it. Um, <laughs> you're very keen on driving and karate. Make a note of that. <laughs> Don't mess with this one. Right. <laughs> You moved into a house nine months ago and have spent most of your spare time since then modernising it. Well, I suppose it's easy for you. Don't like that wall there. Hey, help! Help! <laughs> I think I moved the stairs. Hey, ah! Hey, ah! Hey, ah! <laughs> yeah, I won't mess with him at all, yeah. <laughs> anyway, your, your mother is also held, helping you to do the painting and the decorating. Help me, it's finished now. Oh, it's finished now. So she's already helped you. Anyway, you really are a lovely mum. You sit, come here and sit. Stand this side of me. I want you to hear me. All right, then. We'll have our next two, Anthea, who are... And this is Jim and Celia Campbell. I see. Okay. Thank you, Anthea. And it's father and daughter, of course. Uh, Jim Campbell from Yately. Is that Yately or Yatley? Yately. Yately in Surrey. Well, I actually, it's in Hampshire. Oh, good. <laughs> the postal address is sorry. Yes. Oh, the postal address is sorry, sorry. <laughs> postal address is Have you finished or are you going to confuse me anymore? Right. <laughs> You're a planning engineer for British Airlines and you are chairman of the local parish council, which is shortly to become a town council. Got your own dustbin? Yes. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, yeah, this sounds a nice place. I'm sure it'll do well. Anyway, you, uh, you're a school governor as well of your daughter's old school, and you take part in school plays. Yes. I'll make a note of that, too. Likes dressing up. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> but it takes all sorts. Get on, get on. In a minute, Alf. In a minute. Right. <laughs> Over now to your daughter, Celia Campbell, also from Yately. You're not going to move, are you, dear? Um, 
No. No, don't, otherwise it'll be a parish again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're doing a four-year degree course in drama and English at a college in Dartford in Kent. You enjoy travel and music of all kinds and you can play the piano by ear and two tunes on the guitar. <laughs> two tunes on the guitar. What two tunes can you play? Um... The Grand Old Duke of York. Oh, one of my favourites! <laughs> the Grand Old Duke of York! But what else? Home on the Range. Home on the Range! <laughs> the only two songs I know! <laughs> but you, you got your guitar? Oh, what a lovely moment that could have been. <laughs> oh, I could have got us on opportunity knocks and everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, let's get on now with game number one. Game number one is called Mountain Ranges. It's called Mountain Ranges, but we do have sort of um, hills involved in this as well, which I will show you in a moment, because at the moment, our maps are coming on. You have got a map, and you have got a map. So if you'll just follow me through the middle here, we'll get to your maps, and then we'll explain what it's all about. Stay this side, will you, and come up here. You see some of these, uh, like this sort of the Grampians, there's a little white bit at the top. Well, that means the snow on the top, so they are mountains. But of course, the Cotswolds, they are hills. You see, they are hill ranges. These are mountain ranges. So what we want you to do, you see on the board here, on your map rather, you have numbers from one to nine. You've only got six mountain ranges or hills here. So three of those are false ones. What we want you to do is on the numbers marked there, we want you to put the right mountain or hills. That's all there is to it. Okay, you've got about 30 seconds. That should be enough time starting from now. And stick them in. Stick them in where you think they are. Right by the number. All right, then? Gonna build it. You've broken it. Never mind. Lean it up. I'll see to that one. You get on with the mountain. Gonna build a mountain out the Cotswold Hills. Gonna build a mountain all right then. All right. Okay, my loves, come round this side, will you? And will you get the other side and the other side of Anthea? There we are. Come round here, will you? That's fine. That's good. That's lovely. Now, um, first of all, Anthea, where have they put uh, number... What have they put on number one? Uh, number one, they've put the Pennines, which is wrong. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, yes. no, no, no. No Yavol for that one, no. So we've got Crampi Grampians, which is right. So we've got two points this side. OK. Now, what have they got for number two? Uh, number two, they've put the Chilterns, which the is oh, wrong. Oh, miles out. <laughs> <laughs> miles out. Oh, nothing for that. Uh, it should be the Cheviots. It should be that you were very near here, but you can't get any points for that because it is a little bit out. OK, so uh, no points for that at all. What have they got for number three? Uh, number three, they've put the Grampians, which is wrong. Wrong, you <laughs> see, because there are no mountains there at all. Yeah. All the Scots people are going to be livid up there. I'm not going up there for a few months. <laughs> right, and you've got, uh, well, you've got the Cheviots on there, which is wrong as well. So no points for that one. But number four, what have they got for that? Uh, number four, the Cotswolds, which is <laughs> wrong. <laughs> wrong of the game. Not your kind of game, is it? No. They've got the Pennines, which is right. So you, d you did very well on that one. So two points for our side. Number five, what have they got? Uh, number five, the Cambrians, which is right. Hooray! Yeah. Well done over there. They've got the Cambrians and you've got two points as well. So two points either side, John, for that. Now, number six. What have they got for number six? Um, we've got nothing for number six. And they, you've got nothing here either, and that was quite right. You leave that one away. There's no, no mountains in Norfolk. Not the last time I was there, anyway. Right. <laughs> now, what about number seven? And we have nothing for number seven. Nothing for number seven. Well, number seven should be the Cotswolds. And you've got the Chilterns. And you've mucked it up. You broke the game and everything there, didn't you? <laughs> How dare you break my game? <laughs> All right, then I play with these for hours after, you know, on my own. Anyway, right. <laughs> OK, so no points for that one. What about number eight? Uh, number eight, we haven't got either. Oh, you were bad like there because you just got them yeah. in the wrong order. That, that's a, very tricky, these, I'll tell you that. OK, nothing for number eight either for either side. And what about number nine? No, nothing for number nine. No, th there's a high block of flats there in Rygate, but I mean, we can't, uh, <laughs> we can't count that. All right, though, so no points for those. So do come back here. Thank you, Anthea. And let's
let's see how the old scoreboard is getting on over there. Peter and Paulie in two, Jim and Celia six. So there's only two points in, in it, and you weren't too good at that game, but only four points to get back, so don't worry about it. We now move on to our next game, with loads of points to be won here. It's called Domestic Sounds. Let me explain. One of you will have to do some miming in this, so it'll be for one of you to decide what, who's going to do the miming. The other one will be standing at the lecterns with earphones on. Now, when you've had those earphones on, you won't be able to hear anything. You'll just hear some, some very nice music, but nothing else. Uh, you people who are doing the miming, whoever does the miming, will hear a domestic sound. When you hear it, we then want you to mime what you think that domestic sound is, and then you people at the lecterns write down what you think your partner is, is miming. Remember, it is a domestic sound. So I'll turn to you first. Who's going to do the miming and who's going to do the writing down? He's going to do the miming. Do the miming. <laughs> well, she's made up the <laughs> <laughs> And you do the listening. Over there then, my love. And put those earphones, uh, earphones on straight away. And will you go and stand on the disc there? Now, what are you going to do? The miming. Mi You're going to do the miming? So the two men are going to do the miming. All right, over there you go then. All right then, it's Peter, isn't it? Yeah. All right, then. And Pauline, you over there, on with your headphones. All right, then. Well, I think we're just about ready. Uh, music? <laughs> music. Oh, yeah, she is. Yeah. <laughs> Be all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, she's... Uh, yeah, yeah, she's... Uh, good, they can't hear it. Just checking they can't hear anything. OK, domestic sound number one, please. <laughs> Now, what is Pauline written down there? Oh, very good. Making a cake. <laughs> Making a cake. Yeah. And they've got here beating an egg. Well, I'm going to give you two points each for that because it was, in fact, beating an egg because you have to beat an egg to, to, to get a cake all mixed up. So, two, well done. Well done on that one. OK. The next one coming up. side we've got cutting hedge what have you got over that side well, we've got cutting grass or a hedge oh we <laughs> well you're not going to get any extra points for that <laughs> <laughs> don't worry kid i'm with you don't worry <laughs> so two points each for that well done right domestic sound number three <laughs> Going to the loo. <laughs> you must have terrible plumbing in your house. What about your side, well, Anthea? Uh, we're a little more polite. Having a wash. <laughs> Having a, a wash? A wash. Yeah, well, actually, it was filling a kettle. <laughs> I told you we shouldn't have included that one. It's a family show. Number four, please. <laughs> oh, we must do this one every week. I love this one. What have they got, dear? And we've got cleaning your teeth. Cleaning your teeth? Well, it is cleaning your teeth. If you clean your teeth in a cocktail shaker... <laughs> good luck. Right. Number five. Pushing baby. <laughs> Can our side have a rest? <laughs> what have you got over there? Well, we've got shaving in brackets electric. So oh, we're oh right. in brackets. Oh. Yeah. You get nothing from the brackets, <laughs> but you do get two points for being right. Very, very good, your side. So do come. Thank you, Anthea, very much. A lovely game. That a bit of fun, wasn't it? Come back here, my love. And 
You caught up with them. You were very good on that game. So the four points you were down, you've, you, you, you've finished up ten each. So let's have the tiebreaker. Ten each is on the scoreboard. Thank you, Anthea. Tiebreaker, the first one who answers from either team will win the point. Only one point to go for, and then you've won. The question is this. Who opened the motor show in London this week? Yes, you were right. Very well done. Peter, isn't it? Peter, you've won. A tiebreaker. You've been up in competitors. You really have. And here are your consolation prizes. Lovely travelling clock. And we have that all engraved for you. And we'll be seeing you in our semi-final, which will be coming up. All right, then. There we are, Anthea, and we meet now our next two contestants who are... Patricia Haig and Don Edmonds. I see. Over right. here, then, Patricia. And stay right where you are, Don. Let me get in the middle here. And uh, you're from uh, Scarborough in Yorkshire. And you're a staff sergeant. And yes. today, today, you celebrate 38 years in the Army. Well, that's, that's quite great. something. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Love. Proud of Good lad. Uh, all mouth and blanco. Ah. Right. Uh, <laughs> you, come, you come originally from Bermondsey, That's so you great, were a yes. Londoner to start yeah. with, and you were evacuated from Dunkirk during the war. Your entire army career has been spent with the 15th and 19th Hussars. With who's whom? Ours? Who's ours? Oh, who's, who's ours? ours? Sorry. Who's <laughs> ours? <laughs> 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 Silly Brucey. Um, <laughs> oh, yes, hazards, yeah. You're interested in music and your ambition is to be a comedian with Bruce Forsyth as your stooge. <laughs> well, that's nice. <laughs> the day may be nearer than you think. <laughs> anyway, thank you for coming along, Don. This is your daughter, Patricia, Patricia Haig of Bradford in Yorkshire, which is where you live now as well. You're married with one son. Do you watch the Generation Games? Yes, good every kid, week. good kid, full of class. Um, <laughs> You work as a receptionist and telephonist for a textile firm in Bradford. Yes. Trouble at Mill. There's yeah. trouble at Mill. <laughs> Is this a nice bit of stuff? Yes, it, oh, it's lovely. Do you like mm. this? Oh, yes. Like, Definitely. Yeah, you like the Oxford? Yes, yes. What do you mean, Oxfam? Oh, what are you talking about? He's trying to muscle in. He really is trying to get in. <laughs> you love travelling and you've travelled with your father during the po his postings abroad. You enjoy dressmaking and swimming. Do you swim a long way or just, just going for little dips? Just little dips. Oh, no sort of, no, no. Sort of quarter of miles or half miles. Oh, no. Just little dips, yes. like me, dear. <laughs> we might have a little dip together. Right, <laughs> over here, Don. And we'll meet our next couple, Anthea, who are... Uh, Carol Pierce and Danny Godfrey. I see. Danny Godfrey, Carol Pierce, father and daughter. And um, first of all, Danny, you work for an aircraft company as, as, as a design coordinator on electrics. Mm -hmm. Your main hobby is photography and you do your own developing and printing. I like your dad, yes. Um, devil. You like having a go at making anything that looks expensive and which you think you can make equally well and cheaper. Well, of course. I see, and you keep, you keep tropical fish but you make your own chips. That's cool. good. <laughs> Back to you then, my love. Carol Pierce, you're married with two children and your husband works for the same aircraft company as your father. Oh, that's good. Clever girl. <laughs> Keep an eye on him. You had central heating instead of a holiday this year. Yes. <laughs> Did you enjoy it as much? <laughs> No, you could just get it like that. Anyway, uh, you have two goldfish, their names. I don't know. You haven't named them? Uh, my children have, but... Well, are they males or females? I don't know. Well, I, I hope I they do, just... dear. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy going through life like that. <laughs> Dashing around a bowl and you don't know what you are. But anyway, <laughs> never let, don't let's worry about them. Let's worry about our next game, number three. And if you'll just come over here with me, just stay as you are, in your twos. And we'll see what our next game is. Come over here. There we are, then. Doesn't he look well? <laughs> there we are. Yes, we're going to meet uh, some people who do such wonderful work. And uh, in our small way, we can pay a little tribute to them. But from Bromley Hospital, we welcome Sister Anne Ross and her daughter, Karen. <laughs> Come round here, my love. Follow me. And go right through there. You will. And you two get in here. 
so that you can see exactly what's going on. And Anne, you're going to show us um, the tricky process because this patient shouldn't, it mustn't be moved. You know, it's one of these things, they mustn't be moved. Mm. So you're going to show us how to change the draw sheet, the drawer sheet yes. which is the underneath one. The yes, which must be, I suppose. Anyway, you go ahead, my love, and show us how you go about that. All right then, with Karen. First of all, you see, off come the pillows. There we are. Make sure it goes back all right there. Mm-hmm. Good, good, good. There we are. That, see the way they fold that back? Very neatly, the way that goes back. And here they are. Whoops. Yes, no embarrassment. <laughs> Always glad when that bit's over, right? Over he goes there. That's the drawer sheet, you see, which needs to be changed. We say it needs to be, we're only joking about that. <laughs> Who's a naughty boy, then? <laughs> Next time, you'll have to go on your own. Right. All righty. Good. It's all good fun. This is where they get rid of that again. Now, you see the way... You see, no embarrassment at all. It's all done so nicely. Oh, dear. I never get parts like this. <laughs> now, watch the sheet bit at the end there. The nice tuck under. Make sure it's nicely tucked in so the feet don't get cold. And again, the blanket all the way back. The neat little fold there. Beautiful. There we are. This makes all the difference. Little tuck under there. Now, the counterpane. On with the counterpane. That's it. That was good. Back with the sheet. And this little fold here, notice the way this is all down. Good, good, good. And this little cheeky bit, I call this the cheeky bit. That's lovely. There we are. Now, yes, now the nurses don't usually do this, but Anne, if you will just take, you, I know you don't normally do that, but show that we can show you the Australian lift. They call it the Australian lift because this fella's as big as an Australian. And really, two kangaroos couldn't lift this fella. Uh, <laughs> right, that's it, that's how to do that. And believe me, when it's a big person, it's the only way to do it. There we are. Lovely. Now, will you go back to that wall there? You back to that wall here. And come forward, will you? How about these people? Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Karen. And, of course, um, you are mother and daughter. That's right, So yes. it's a real generation game team we have here. Sure. And will you, uh, will you now sort of pop over there and stay? I'd like you to stay because I want you as sister to be our judge. All right, then? OK, yes. and thank you again, Karen. Over there, my loves. And here... <laughs> you just... Just like you to just like you to meet your patient first of all because I think he's been having a nap. There we, oh blimey, <laughs> Robbie Fraser, Robbie Fraser, what are you, what are you doing in a bed like this? I'm not quite sure. Some nice man said, would I like to lie in bed for Bruce Forsyth? And it seemed like a lovely <laughs> engagement. So here I am. <laughs> I'm not going to cut my leg off. No, nothing like that. No, you, these are your two nurses, male nurse here oh, no. and the female nurse. So get in your positions, if you will, and um, come over here and meet your patient. Stay that side for the moment. But I think he's been having a bit of a nap. I don't think he's been his... Oh! <laughs> I don't believe it. Oh, no. Is it... Yes, thank you. Yes, I'd like to put the grapes over there, yeah, will you? Yeah. Oh, I should be able to come. Yes, I'm here, yes, yes. Have a grape. Yeah, yeah, fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, then, fine. Yeah, look, you've got him, and good luck to you. Round here. Come round here, will you, so that you've got one either side. Don't forget, the, the idea of this is the drawer sheet. You've got to get that drawer sheet underneath, and uh, away you go. Good luck to you, all of you, starting from now. All right, then. <laughs> Put it away! <laughs> How dare Keep your 
sunny side up. No embarrassment. Yes. Sister's in a nasty mood. <laughs> All right, then get the pillars, get the pillars. Quick. The, don't forget the pillars. 15 seconds. Go 10. Five. Quick, get the pillars, get the pillars. Get the pillars, lift the Australian lift. The Australian lift. <laughs> All right. Would you come over here, my love, and have a look at them? Well, they certainly had a, all a go of it, didn't they? Now, actually, the bed is fairly neat here, would you say? Well, yes. Not bad. Not, not, not bad, bad. not folded side, properly, no, but I mean, no, at least he looks no, quite comfortable. Dare thing. we have a look at the drawer sheet? The there we are. Now, where is it? Oh, well, yes. <laughs> on your side. Blimey, look at all this here! <laughs> I suppose you could wrap it round it, <laughs> but hardly. I mean, you have to have double in case. No, well, I won't go into that. Um, what do you think? Points out, of, and the, the pillars are not pillars all that. Are, yeah, he's, but you know, at least the they got it on. He looked better than he was, actually. <laughs> what do you think? About six. About six out of ten. Mm, Jolly good. Okay, six out of ten for your team. And now, and if you will go just round there, the other side. Oh, no. uh, That's yes, yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Now then, no counterpane on for a start, but this is tucked in pretty well. And there's the old drawer sheet. That should be in there. Right, there we are. Let's have a look back here. Let's have a look. Oh, the... That's the... Put your leg down. Right. What do you think? It's sort of... At least it's on, and it's even... A bit more even than the other one. But not very... Yes, it's sister, sister, yes. I thought she was a traffic one. <laughs> I didn't tell him to say that, honest. Right, what do you think of the pillars? Uh, the pillars. She'll see me later. Yeah, she'll see me later. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Six over there, what do you think for Mind here? Mind you, they missed the counterpane. They missed the counterpane, yes. Five. Mind you, he was playing up a bit. Five. Yeah, I think five is fair. Oh, yes. Difficult. Up to you, sister. Yeah. But five is fair. There we are. And thank you, Derek. And thank you, Robbie. Two of my favourites have come out. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Sister Anne Ross, and give our love to Bromley <coughs> Hospital. Thank you again. Well, let's have a look at the old scoreboard. Don and Patricia, six. Danny and Godfrey, five. So an only one point in it, and a right silly game, but a lot of fun. And we do thank our two guest stars for doing that. Right, the next game is called Signature Tunes. Behind us now are coming two boards, and it will be of the Shepherd's Bush Empire, and you have lots of famous band leaders at the side of you here. Pictures of them with their names on them. All you've got to do is recognise their signature tune. If you'll just uh, have a look back here, you see, there are your numbers, one to six. You see? One to six there. And here we have all the names and all the fam famous faces of these particular band leaders. So all you've got to do when you hear the signature tune, just get the person who you think it is and put it on the number that we're talking about at that time. It's as simple as that. So get to your boards. Get to your boards now, and I think... Yes, just over there, just over there, over there. OK, you now have signature tune number one. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. Make up your mind which one you're going to put on there. Number one. All right, then. Number two, please. Number two is on. The next signature tune, please, Ronnie. No, number three, that should be on, my love. I'm sorry. Yes, it's all right. OK, it is a bit confusing for you. When these things are so near, it can be very confusing. And it was number three, so it's fair. Number four, signature tune, please. <laughs> Then number five signature tune. Number five, 
there we are. And uh, the last signature tune coming up. <laughs> Mad fools. You give them a talking part and they go barbie. <laughs> All right, then, if you'll come over here, my loves, and at the end with me here, we'll be ready to do the marking. All right, Anthea, what have they yes. got for number one over there? Uh, number one, Joe Loss, which yes, is right. which is right. And we've got Joe Loss, which is right as well, so two points for either side. What have they got for number two? Uh, number two, Ted Heath, which yes, is right. Yes, and some of the greatest music ever. Ted Heath, one of my real favourites. There we are, so two points each for that. Number three? Uh, number three, Edmondo Ross, which is yes, right. Yes, they've got Edmondo Ross here as well, Anthea, so two points each for that. Well done up to yet. And number four? Uh, number four, we've got Benny Goodman, which is wrong. Yes, and we've got Glenn Miller, which is wrong. It was, of course, Duke Ellington. Take the A-train. Da, la, 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 da, the A-train. All right, then, no points for that. Number five, what have they got? Uh, number five, Glenn Miller, which is right. Glenn Miller, oh, and you've got Benny Goodman, but then you realised it afterwards, which was too late, unfortunately. You bunged him up there, yes. No points for our side, but two points for your side, <laughs> Anthea. And how about number six? Uh, number six, Billy Cotton, which yes, is right. the one, and very, very only, the only one that will ever will be, Billy Cotton, the great man himself. All right, thank you, Anthea. Come down here, my loves, and let's have a look at that old scoreboard. Only one point in it. Don and Patricia, 14. Danny and Carol, 15. So just one point there. Ah, oh, there we are. Well, congratulations to you two. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we're very sorry to, to lose you. You've been only one point in it. It's, but all our games tonight have been so close. It's sorry to lose anybody. And it's an umbrella. Oh, an oh, umbrella. Oh, all yeah. tucked in there. And that will be engraved. Mm. Thank you. And give our love to the army. I will. You, the hazards. <laughs> all right, then. <laughs> and we'll be seeing you in our semi-final, which will be coming up very, very soon. Thank you so much. There we are. We're all raring to go with our semi-final and it will be the Hoffmans, Peter and Pauline, playing Danny Godfrey and Carol Pierce. So, there we are, my loves. You've all got your little name plates, have you? Your little name plates. That, well, you'll be needing those when you see what we're going to do in a moment. But first of all, I would like to toss up and sort of find out who's going to go first and second. Pauline, heads or tails? Uh, tails. Tails? Tails it is. Now, do you want to go first or second when it comes to you to take over? We'll go first and get it over with. Get first and get it over with. <laughs> right, oh, love. <laughs> right, oh, love. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, Long. Right, that means you will go second, so when it is time yeah. for, for Pauline and Peter to have a go, Danny, you just go over there in Bruce's room. All right, then. Okay. I didn't manage to get an evening paper tonight, but I think if I switch on now, I'll, I'll just about be in time for the news. This is the Generation Game News. Good evening. The Welsh international rugby team manager, Miss Bloodwin Bavanwy Williams, tripped over the barrier at Cardiff Arms Park today. <laughs> Miss Williams, who comes from Llanvair Puth Gwyngil, Gogirach and Robert, Llanbusilio Gogogoch, is now in Llanesley General Hospital, where her condition is said to be totally unpronounceable. <laughs> But the Royal Garden Party held this afternoon <laughs> at, at Buckingham Palace, several titled guests ran to avoid a large green marquee that collapsed during the initial introductions. An official for the Royal Household named him as the Marquis de Boulogne <laughs> and said he will not be invited again. <laughs> Excuse me. Yep. Bob, Bob, the ice skating next. OK. I say, who wrote this bulletin? It can't be one of our regulars. He just shot himself. He shot himself? <laughs> well, that'll save me doing it. Thank you very much. I'm so sorry about that. I understand there's a complete sellout tonight when one-time ice skating world champions, Yudmila Biela Usova and Oleg Proper Popov, <laughs> perform their classic pas de deux from Ida Klan and Archmusik on the frozen extremities of La Cluny in Venetia. Racing. At the charity show business meeting at Haydock Park today, Charlie Drake won the 4.15 by a short head 
a short body and a pair of very short legs. <laughs> and a late message. And finally, Reginald Bosomkett was voted TV Personality of the Year today. <laughs> Anyone who saw the accident should get in touch at once <laughs> with the nearest police station. Who dared call in the golden shot? <laughs> Who dared? <laughs> Teddy Lynch? Teddy Lynch, get off the phone. Oh. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no, we, I've done that. We've, uh, we've just heard that at Regent's Park Zoo this morning, a freak gale blew away six animal sheds in the GNU compound. Of the eight species in the compound, not one single GNU has been recovered. And uh, that's the way it is tonight. So, from the Generation Game GNUs, good night. I would have the pleasure ever oh, of doing uh, a bit with you. I never thought I'd have the pleasure of meeting you, Charm, either. Oh, it really has. It's, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, and I'm very sad to hear that you're about to retire at the end of this year. Yeah, well, I don't like the word retire very much. I'm leaving the permanent BBC staff. Oh, I see. I'm not going into a decline, I hope. Well, you know, well, I'd like to say on behalf of myself, and I know millions of people, we do regard you as one of the family and we'll, we'll, we'll miss seeing you. We really will. I shall get a twitch around about 9 o'clock, I I bet, I know, I know. I get twitches at 8, but we won't <laughs> go into that. Um, anyway, good luck with your book, which uh, comes out on the 29th of October, I believe, the end That's of this it. month. Yes, yes. And uh, you cover everything in here. Yeah. You well, go over your a, whole quite career? Years, quite a few years. How yeah. many? Well, 41 of the, in the bead, yeah. Very good luck with your book. Yeah. And uh, do stay and be a judge for us, will you? Yeah, I will. That'll yeah. be marvellous. Yeah, Thank you Christmas. again. Happy Christmas. And a happy Christmas to you. <laughs> yes! Good gift for Christmas. Good gift for Christmas. <laughs> Here we are. All right, my loves. We're now, you're going to go first, aren't you? So get to your places. You be you be Dougal. You be Dougal as you're the man. And you can be me. And, and over you go there into Bruce's room. All right then. Pop into there. Now let me put those on the right marks for you here and here. And uh, you know you'll be judged by fluency and um, and your sort of cool manner with dealing with any situation. If the phone goes, you know, deal with the whole thing as if you were a newsreader. All right then. Okay. Here we go. Starting from now. Good evening, and here's the Generation Game News. The self Ochostic Hydrographic <laughs> Commission, which is now meeting at the Navy's Hydrographic Establishment at Boodley Salterton today, will review the progress in preparing the unified series of charts devoted to craniite vertebrae that included the cyclotomes and elastomer branches <laughs> and hybrid aquatic vertebrae, in other words, fish. <laughs> Senior Fortunio Bucolosi, the 44-year-old world-famous Ethiopian conductor, was at Covent Garden early this afternoon, then at the Strand, Char Charing Cross, Victoria Street, and finally back in his garage at Hainault. <laughs> right on schedule. Excuse me. Hello? 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 Hello. Hello? Who's your lady friend? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, not you? No, there's a, there's a news flash coming along any moment, so start with the next one, but be, be ready, stand by for a news flash. Okay. All right, then? Yep. Do as your best you can. Okay. Charm. Remember the charm. Right. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> Mr. Ignatius Postlethwaite, the expert in small British flora, died today at his home in Car... Court and come hardy. Mr. Spostlethwaite will be sadly missed, as for the past 30 odd years he has been engaged in writing a thesis on Orobans reticulata or Pallidiflora and Latheria squamaria, but had 
so far only completed the title. <laughs> Oh, give my love to Peg. I shall. <laughs> and here is a very late cricket score. Dr. W. G. Grace was still 83 not out at Lord's today. He bummed it on the slow wicket. <laughs> and give his love to Peg. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> Very, oh, sorry. No, very well done. Very good. And we'll get the other two out of the box. Over there, Carol, you be sort of me, if you like, and you sit down here, Danny. I'll just tell you what I've told the others. You'll get marks for fluency and for the cool manner that you treat the whole thing. OK, good luck to you, starting from now. Good evening, and here is the Generation Game News. Mr. Sidney Shufflebottom of 66C Cemetery Sidings, Sidcup, officially stated on Sunday that he and his family and six Swedish soldiers had joined in a domestic scuffle against Mr. Stefan Sorensen and his family of 66B. A rare operation has been performed in the Coimbra North Portugal University Hospital on Louis Alberta Joachim Dantas del Plata Carmus de Parm Parmenteria. Uh, from now on, he will be known as plain Bill Smith. <laughs> Excuse me just a moment, please. Hello? Hello. I Hello. see. Hello, mm -hmm. Miss Carol there. I see. Yes. <laughs> okay. Miss Carol there, I want to speak to Carol. Yes. Okay. Um... No, there's a news, fl news flash, Daddy, a news flash coming along yes. any moment. So you'll get on with the next news. <laughs> Carry on, but the news flash is on its way. Oh, I'm afraid you can't speak to Carol, but uh, call again, please, will you? Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry about that, Lane. <laughs> Reports are now coming in that the Shuffle Bottoms Auntie Etty has started an all-out nerve war against the Sorensons by playing her collection of Desert Connor records. So, I don't suppose there's any answer to this one, really. However... Ah! That's not on my newscast. Yes, indeed. Um, a news flash. We've just had the real police go by the studio. Who knows? It was announced in Budapest early today that all postal communications to the Hungarian towns of Keskemet, Toria Kazenta Milokas, and <clears throat> Hodnets of uh, uh, something have come to a total <laughs> breakdown. Police are on the lookout for the man who made this announcement, as he is now thought to be quite dangerous. You slash from Mr. Fred Onsler, very important. I see. Um, good evening. I'm sorry about this again. We have a, a news flash from Mr. Fred Onslow. And it says, and finally here is a warning to motorists in the Highgate area. Mr. Ronald Fraser will be going to a wine and cheese party tonight and will be staggering home about half past two in the morning. And with that, it's good night from me and good night from her. Thank you. <laughs> You come and will you just go round here and will you come back onto us here and Robert will you join us will you join us in the middle here well that was certainly well, throwing him in at the deep <laughs> end and I think I think both couples did marvellously well I really do it's I not easy they all deserve medals for bravery they do really you're, you're right Robert you're right well now let's well, get I, down I to the marks of fluency intelligibility interest enunciation of the telephone and I yes. think um, Peter and Pauline, yes. I would say they put up a really tremendous battle, but I, 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 I think I'll give them 11 for try. 11? <laughs> 11 <laughs> yes, points yes, for right. Pauline and Peter. Very Fine, good. that's jolly good. Got great promise. They but did. Danny and Carol, I think, really are uh, well away. I thought the way they handled six Swedish soldiers was uh, one of the very hard <laughs> Very difficult. Can you, can you say? Uh, no, six no. Swedish... No, 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 no quite. No. Well, I, thought oh, they, well, I thought they were very, very good, and I give them definitely a medal for bravery, and the way they handled those telephone interruptions I thought was really absolutely brilliant. Yes, plenty very cool. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. So I'll give you 15. 15 yeah. for them. All right. <laughs> Let's have a look at the old scoreboard. <clears throat> there we are. Peter and Paul in 11. Danny and Carol, 15. 
But well done, all of you. Oh. And Robert, good luck. Good luck with everything Thank you, you do. Bruce. Forever and ever. Well, right. Thanks for having me on your show. Oh, it's been a Love real you. pleasure. It really has. Got we it. thank you, Robert Dougal. And there we are. Here come your consolation prizes. Cosmetic case. Oh, Cosmetic case. case. And the desk radio. The desk radio. They are marvellous. Oh, they really are. All right, then. And we're sorry to lose you. Very sorry to lose you. Here we are, my love. And get here. Nice and close together. Face the front there. Don't worry about me. I'm right behind you here, and I have three questions. The, uh, there are three points to be win all to won altogether, and the first one who answers the question will win the point, providing, of course, that the, the answer is correct. The first question coming up. Name the new Vice President of the USA. Um, I'll make Ford. a guess at Charles Gerald Ford. Ford, did you say? Yes. Yes, you're um, right, Dad. And you, while you were making a guess, he'd made one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, he's quick, your dad, isn't he? Yeah. Apart from his jacket. Right, anyway, look here. Which, the next one coming up now. Which building is the Queen officially opening? Sydney Opera House. Sydney Opera House, yes. Yeah, so oh, it's cut and thrust here. Cut and thrust. <laughs> well, now, the last one coming up, and this one will decide the whole thing. So let's watch very carefully. Which famous motor racing champion... Jackie Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we'll be Sorry, here all night. Have we got a tiebreaker here? I think I've got a couple of tiebreakers. We need a tiebreaker. Oh, so I've got a couple here, if, unless you've got a... Oh, we've got a pink one. What is it, a pink tiebreaker? <laughs> Who is the conductor of the LSO? Andrea Trevor. Ah, oh, she's done your dead. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Well, well done, Carol. Well done, Carol. Oh, well done, Carol. Oh, oh. You've got your marching orders. Oh, oh, oh. There we are. Thank You're you off now. Oh, it's a flight case. A flight it? case. When you're Just the job oh, so for you. Have you got the ticket that goes don't, with it? Don't, <laughs> don't worry. I'm sure Carol will win a few other things if she keeps a cool head. All right, well, I'm ready to go there. Get a nice decision. And we'll get on with it. Take the screens away, please. Take the screens away. All right, Carol? Lots of articles going to pass right before your eyes. Have a real, real good look. You have 45 seconds to have a look, starting from now. And on the conveyor belt tonight, a record player, a coffee maker, a magazine rack, an eiderdown, a set of stainless steel rack, an electric clock, a shoulder bag, a cuddly Humpty Dumpty, an infrared grill, a car coat, a fondue set, a radio, decanter and glasses, an umbrella stand, a set of knives, a box of perfumery, a camera, a set of table mats, a rose bowl. There we are, round you come. It's all right, now quick, get, get by there, quick, Carol. Right, 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 nobody noticed, right. There you are, keep thinking, my love. You have 45 seconds to recount all your thoughts, starting from now. Um, a quick grill thing. A quick grill thing. Umbrella and stand. Um, um, yeah, umbrella dish. stand, yes. A red and white thing, I didn't see what it was. That was a radio, dear, oh, a radio, okay. yes. A clock. A clock. Um, some dinner mats. Some dinner mats. A teddy bear thing. A teddy bear thing. A car coat. A car coat. Um, um, do you like records? Oh, record player. Oh, record player, player yes, oh, I thought you did. Set. Oh, you like fondue? I fondue do. set, lovely, set of it's beautiful. Um, um, a camera. A camera, yes. Oh. Jolly good. Oh, you <laughs> remember all the things I was trying to remember for you. Um, Glasses. Traveling clock. Glasses. Uh, Traveling coat. 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 No, I've mentioned that. Oh, you mentioned that, sorry. <laughs> Oh. Uh, glasses. Glasses, oh, decanter and glasses. Yes. Uh, oh, de glasses. Uh, magazine rack. Magazine rack. Yes, Ooh. you just got that at the end. Fine. Oh, didn't she do well? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Pam. Danny, there she is. Are you always wanted one of these? There we are. She always wanted one of these. That's all we've got time for this week. Hope you can join us again next week. Bye! Bye!
Play the game with you. 